To use the USB feature, you'll need to purchase a USB to printer cable for your Mac computer. There are two kinds, depending on the age of your computer. The picture on the left shows USB-C to USB-B for new Macs, and on the right, a USB 2.0 printer cable for older Mac computers. Above is a description for each type of cable from a popular online ordering website. First, let's get the most recent drivers online. To download the latest Mac drivers, go to kiosera.documentsolutions.us. Click on Support, located near the top of the page. Click on Download Center. In Choose an Option, look for Echosys P2235DW. Look for the Mac driver 5.x. Click on the down arrow key. The download will begin. After downloading Mac 5.x zip file, double click on the file. You will now have a folder named Mac and double click on the folder. Inside you'll find one file ending in DMG. Double click on the file. The file will open up and you'll find three additional files. On the left you'll see a Kyocera OS X10 file. In the center, a Mac driver guide, and on the right, an uninstaller app. Click on the first file. Go through the wizard, click continue, click continue again, click continue one more time and agree to the software license to begin the wizard installation. Click on install. Enter your username and password. Click install software. Once the installation is complete, you should see a green check mark. You can either keep the installation files or move them to the trash as they are no longer needed. Now plug your USB cable into the printer. Plug the other end into your Mac computer. In the System Preferences page, select Printers and Scanners. Press the plus key. Look for the Kyocera Echosys P2235DW with the kind defined as USB. Highlight it. The name should be Kyocera Echosys P2235DW. The location is the name of your Mac computer. You can change this to whatever you like. Next select Use and you should see Kyocera Echosys P2235DW KPDL. Click on Add. The printer will now appear as active. You can select Sharing Preferences as needed. You can also make your newly installed Kyocera printer the default printer, meaning any print job from this computer will automatically print to your Kyocera printer. Now select Default Paper Size. In most cases, you'll be printing U.S. letter. Go back to the Preferences page and press the red Close button. You have now installed your Echosys P2235DW printer.